Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I'm listening that we don't know that we don't have an idea. I'm listening to 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 so to, to see our one is doing so some marketing. I, came to, I mean, <laughs> the, the last time I did, he's doing some marketing here. Broadcast. I was testing, the and he's uh, but what he's saying is true. Eh? What he's saying is true. I, I agree. One thing I like about uh, see one is that uh, you know, he's brutal, he's brutally honest. Is honest on some of these things. That's one thing that I like about here on. So good afternoon. Um, I just want to um, make a few points uh, this afternoon, and um, I, I I want to tell, I want to put people at ease. I want to put people at ease. I know some people are speculating about JJ. Maybe he has been. Uh, abducted again and what and what and so on and so forth uh, I want to, uh, to tell you all of you that he, relax JJ is okay JJ has survived the jaws of uh, the dictatorship for President Haka Inge Ichilema is okay and he, in due course in due course he will uh, definitely uh, send a message. He will definitely give send a message in due course. And one thing I can tell you that he, he's gone. Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't tell you much. I can't give you a lot of details. But uh, I just want to tell you that he is safely out of the country. JJ is not in Zambia. So uh, those uh, who are busy looking for him and what and what, you're just wasting your time. JJ is long gone. I have got, uh, I, I, like I'm saying, I can't, I can't, I, I have to be careful on how I bring out this information, but I can tell you that JJ is gone. JJ is gone. JJ is not under, you know, these guys. No, forget it. He hasn't been kidnapped and whatever, whatever. No, he's gone. JJ is gone, he's gone, he's gone. And uh, those who are looking for him here and there and there, just forget it. And I want to tell I move in Ivaka Pokola by UPND. You know, there is a time when you 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 need to stop. You need to stop. Eh? You need to stop. You are busy harassing people here and there. Those people that you are harassing, you are wasting your time. Those people that you are harassing, you are wasting your time. There is nothing that you are going to get. And you're not going to get any information from any of those people because people don't even know. Even the wives don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, told, I told you how this was done. You have to wait uh, for the time when we will be able to document this. There will come a time when we will be able to document this. For now, we can't tell you. All we can tell you is that concentrate on other things. I know you are already 
uh, mobilizing yourselves, thinking of a by-election in Petauke, I want to tell you on that one that JJ is going to fight you. JJ is not going to let go of that of that of that that we party of that that position easily. Okay, the circumstances you are too big. You are too big because this is the thing. Some fools even say, no, uh, those who real men don't run away. I mean, come on, who are we? Me, I, I mean, how can I fight the, the entire government? Eh? Uh, JJ, how can you fight the entire government? It's very difficult. It's very difficult. So at some point, you just need to step back. And this is what uh, has happened to JJ. Some good people who are very frustrated with what is currently happening with Waka in the HLM. That's why yesterday I was warning Waka in the HLM that be very careful because you just don't know who you are making upset. You just don't know who you are making upset. And so through those people who are not happy with what is happening, they helped JJ to go where he is. He is okay. I'm, I'm telling you, I can't give you more information. I will not mention, you know, I know he's at this place and whatever, whatever, but he is okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. I don't know how, um, how uh, uh, you know, something, words are, 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 are just coming to my tongue, like, like saying them, to say this. But let me just say, he is okay. He is okay. And he, he, he is still in high spirit to fight. So be ready. Be ready. Be ready. <laughs> be ready. Those of you who tempered with JJ, those of you who messed around with JJ, <laughs> be ready. <laughs> be ready. Be ready. Be ready. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> naya, JJ, naya. but the next time you see him, some of you, I feel sorry for you. The next time you see JJ, some of you, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Some of you, I feel sorry for you. But he's gone. And, uh, you know, we know that you are now busy jostling, you know, preparing for, for Petaoke. Ati. <laughs> uh, Ngati ni dola siria asaka endeko no enda ako kuja. <laughs> Ngati ni dola siria asaka endeko no enda ako. <laughs> UPND, <laughs> don't go. <laughs> don't even think you're going to have an easy ride in Petauke. <laughs> the best that you can do is, I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're not going to have it easy in Petauke. Um, I, 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 I can't talk too much about that because I will reveal something that, uh, whatever, but in the meantime, uh, just know that JJ is okay. So let us stop speculating to say, no, he has been abducted and whatever, whatever. No, when he was abducted, we told you that he has been abducted. So we don't want to lie. Some of us, we don't lie. When he was abducted, we told you he has been abducted. This time around, he hasn't been abducted. He's just gone. He's gone. He's gone. And uh, um, <laughs> now, <laughs> you will see him. We will all come back. We will all come back. That's one thing you should know. We will all come back. The question is, <laughs> how are we going to come back? That is the issue. Yeah. We're very, very careful. We're very, very careful. <laughs> yeah. Don't think you are clever, you people. Don't think you are clever. Back in the HLM. Allah, you are a president of the republic. You are the, the president of the republic. But you could take a child quite sure Mdala. It is not just about, you know making a uh, false speeches here and there whatever whatever the glamour the glamour that goes around the presidency 
It is far beyond that. To keep that power that you have, it takes a lot. And you are really losing it in the way that you are handling things. You think you are all-powerful. This is the problem with you, Waka in the HM. You think you are all-powerful. You think the people of Zambia are fools. That's what you think. You think they don't know. They know nothing. You think you... I mean, you, you really think... But Waka in the HM, what you have to know is that there are so many people that know more than you do. You are privileged to be president, but there are more people who know much more than you do. That seat where you are, there were people there before. There were people there. Those, uh, 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 the commander-in-chief, uh, no, no, not the commander, the army commander, the inspector general of police, the ZNSC army commander, uh, the inspector, the, the, the whatever the uh, um, what is this? Uh, ZNS uh, uh, correction service. All those positions. Back in the HDM, listen. All those positions, including your positions, they were people there. They were people there, and these people who were there, they also had people. And a lot of these people. The presidents, many of them have gone. They have died. We only have Edgar Chagwalungu. But many of those people that occupied those positions, before you came in and before all these people came in, many of them are alive. Many of them are alive. You can go in most of these offices. I know a lot of you are watching from, their, from your offices. This is 14 hours. You are watching from your offices. Look around in that office where you are. Look on the seat that where you, where you are sitting. Ask yourself, am I the first one? And ask yourself, where is the person that was sitting here before I came? Ask yourself, I am trying to say something here. I am trying to say something here. And I want you to listen good. Whoever is sitting in an office right now, you are watching me, you are sitting in the office, look at that seat to say, this seat I'm sitting on, who was there before? And where is the person who was there before? Where is this person? This person who was here before, how did he leave this office? How did he leave this office? Where is this person? Is this person happy or not? You listen very carefully. Because you, you think that now we can have a perfect pool You think you have come, you are sitting on those chairs, and that seat it's permanent. And in Dimo, one yaya, you will be there forever. That's what you think. Hello? That seat you are sitting on. Vaka in the HM. Yes, you, have, you, you, you move around with your chair and whatever, whatever. You can't sit on chairs, but that presidency you, you are sitting on, they, was, they were presidents before. These presidents, they also had people. They also had people. And so, if you think that you are too powerful, that you can just mess around people, you are very wrong. You are very wrong. And Baka in the HDM, I've come to learn. I don't know how I'm going to say this in a manner that it is public friendly. I don't know. But the issue is that what has happened, what I've come to learn, what I'm hearing from people from yesterday and today, what I've been hearing is that those people that Baka in the HDM is appointing, they have become too pompous, too pompous, and they are very big-headed, such that they are maltreating those that they found. There are some of them, some of them, for example, they were not even anywhere near the positions which they are holding. Ungu Fikshasana, follow me very well. Wahaka in the HLM has appointed people, and some of these people that he has appointed, Especially coming from one region. These people, they have gone into these offices 
and they are feeling like ndise tilipo manje eh? it is our time and they think they are in those seats to mistreat those that they have found and some of these people that are sitting on those seats are actually coming from nowhere are actually coming from nowhere they are people they are nobodies they are nobodies they don't have the qualifications to be in those seats they know nothing to for them to command people they don't know anything they don't know anything okay and then they are not humble they think they know it all they think they have to do everything one of course just an example somebody has written pilato there but me let me give an example of tawokawana a good example is tawokawana tawokawana is coming from nowhere tawokawana is coming from nowhere he is an empty kada he is an empty kada and he has been put as a permanent secretary tawokawana where he is he is on top of a number of directors and these directors when we talk about directors we are talking about directors those who are supposed to be mds if it is in companies if it is in private companies and you can imagine i mean for a person to reach a position of md you know what it takes those are the directors that are in in these ministries so tabukawana is actually sitting on top of directors okay it is just an example but this is happening also in other ministries and so tawokawana of course not educated you know like me not educated like me number 2 uh, 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 he knows nothing he really knows nothing really he, he doesn't he doesn't know nothing he, he knows shit nothing and then look at the arrogance of tawokawana look at the arrogance okay and these are the people that are busy harassing those that have been there for a long time that have saved our government for a long time those who have gone to school those who know so much about governance system but you have a person like tabokawana bossing them around and uh, and on top of that most of these they are coming from one region in most of these areas they're coming from one region and in those offices they are now segregating they are now segregating and kind of making clicks within the system now with all that that is happening tell me how do you think those people those people they have found those people that have that have gone to school they have done their, their their degrees they have done their masters and they are there how do you how do you think they are feeling how do you think those people are feeling to be you know treated like nobodies by these brutes because they are brutes these brutes these people who know very little how do you think they are feeling this there is a source there is a, a strong sense of hatred there is a strong hatred against these people listen very carefully there is a strong hatred against these people that you are appointing who are taking these offices and feeling too big feeling too big feeling too uh, bossy feeling too uh, above everybody else acting like they know it all and the people who just went into government to serve government are being mistreated they are frustrated and this has already started bearing very negative very negative uh, um i can't say fruits uh, effects very very negative e effect on our society very negative very negative uh, 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 effect on our society 
I don't know if I should mention this, but I'm being told that at IBA, at IBA, some of the people, as a, I don't know if I should, I don't know how I can put it, how I can put it better, but at IBA, there was this, this, this wind that came in where some people felt, you know, too big and untouchable and they can do anything. I will leave it there. But look, when you are frustrating people, when you are frustrating people, don't always bank on, on their normalcy. Some people, they have got their own issues. Some people, they have got their own issues. And I want to speak this like in general terms. If you are a boss and you go into an office and you start mistreating anyone because you are the boss and you call them, you call them rubbish, what, what, whatever. Some of them, they will ignore you. They will stay there. They will respect you. You as a boss, okay, fine, is a whatever, whatever, they will respect you. But some of them, they will get upset and they will beat you up. I'm not encouraging people to do it, but I'm telling you that some of them might, you don't know the mental state of many of us. You can't bank on. So be very careful when you are a boss and the way you treat people. Don't think that you're be, you being a boss makes you an iron. No. You are still human. And some people may react. May react. May, may punch you. You are human. Some people, you never know what they can do. You just never know. Even when you are firing somebody, because some of you, you are going into these offices and threatening people, you'll be fired. You'll be fired. You'll be transferred. You'll be whatever. You'll be whatever. You can't bank on how people react to some of these things. You can't. You can't bank on how people, how certain people are going to react. So be very careful. Be very careful. There is something that I'm trying to communicate here. And the wise will get it. Just because you are a boss, it doesn't mean you can just walk in and say, you are fired. Hey, <laughs> you are fired. Yes, some people, they walk away. Some people, they walk away. Okay, I'm fired. That's okay. I'm going. But some people, before they go, they will ensure that you lose, you lose some two teeth in your mouth. Or some of them, they will go outside and wait for you as you are coming out. And work you with a with, with 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 I don't know what. I want to because especially losing jobs, some of these people they have really worked for a long time. They have invested so much in their work. They have invested so much in their education. And you away kada fe you away kada, away kada just you a kada because that kind of has appointed you because you are of a certain you are from a certain region. Chabi Kapo, you are even from a certain region. And then you go there and you become, you, 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 you think that you are untouchable, you are whatever, whatever. Yes. Haka inde Hichirema has appointed you, has given you powers. But Haka inde Hichirema does not stay with you. Haka inde Hichirema does not move with you. So, there is, there, there is a hatred that is that is building up. There is hatred that is building up among people because certain people are being seen to be favored. Certain people are being seen to be favored. And they're being favored when they have no qualification, they have no knowledge. They have no knowledge and they, on top of that, they're even very pompous. Very pompous. Very pompous. So, is that as you are doing all that, you need to consider that these are human beings. And it's not that they don't know. They know. 
It's not that they don't know. They know. They know that it's because you are a cadre that you are there. You think all those people, all those educated people, you think they look at you to say you are boss right? You think they respect you on merit? They don't respect you on merit. But they have to pretend that they, they like you. They have to pretend that you are the boss. But deep down it pains them. How can I be supervised by a cadre who knows nothing? How can I be supervised? And I'm using Katawakawan as an example. But there are many other places. And some of these people, some of these people, they are beginning to react in certain ways. In certain ways. They are beginning to react in certain ways. And my, my, my advice to you is that can you be humble? Can you be humble? But mostly, can you consider the professionals that you are imposing these ignorant people on? Can you consider the, 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 the technocrats that are in those places where you are sending these useless cadres like Tawukawana? Where, who, where you are sending them? Can you consider all those people that are, they are going to be on top of? And look at their character. What kind of character do they have? Are they, do they have the leadership qualities? Because to be a boss, you need to have leadership qualities. Kwa courses. Mala chisanama courses. Leadership courses. Eh? But some of these people, they have not even attended all these courses, nothing, they haven't. And you go and impose them on people that, have, that know so much, people that have gone through so much, they have invested so much. And on top of that now, this guy is being pompous. And then this accusation, this accusation, where now everyone who is not UPND is being suspected, is being treated like a criminal. Anyone who oversanga, you go into an office and everyone who is there, you assume they are PF. You assume they are PF. Some of these people, they are not politicians and they abhor politics. They don't like politics. By the fact that somebody was employed in, a, in the previous government, it doesn't make those people to be politicians. So some of these people that you are finding in those offices and immediately you walk in there, you walk in like you are, you, you are the champion. You are the champion, you have conquered everyone and yet you have conquered nobody and you have no strength and you start treating them like children, you start treating them like politicians, you start suspecting them of things that they haven't done. These people, chileva kalipa. Edi ashimi kwa chilelelo. Chileva kalipa. It is paining them. And some of them are feeling like beating some of you. But already some of them are reacting in a very bad manner. Some people are reacting already in a very bad manner. I will give an example of who, um, of who, uh, Mabonga. Mabonga and, and, and Munia Zulu. Mabonga, she's a very sober person. Very, very sober person. But look, what she said is a reaction of what is currently going on. She said, you people, how many are you? Even if we were to say, okay, let's take it, let's fight. How many are you? Because... She, she, she felt that the majority are being oppressed. Even Munia Zulu, this is what he's talking about. When you are the minority, and I'm telling you, this is, this, is, this is real. When you are the minority, you cannot think of, of suppressing the majority. You can't. I'm not saying you can't lead. Leadership belongs to anyone. Leadership belongs to anyone. Anyone can lead. Even from the minority, from whatever. Anyone can lead. 
you should listen to me very carefully. Very carefully. I am talking about oppressing. You can't be the minority and walk in and think that you are going to suppress. You are going to suppress the, the, the majority. You can't. You are playing with fire. You are playing with fire. You are playing dangerously. The minority cannot transcend above the, the, uh, uh, the majority. You can't. You can't suppress the majority. It can't work. We are not saying you can't lead. You can lead. But not suppression. Not abusing. You can't. You can't abuse the majority. You can't. No matter how much power you have, you cannot. You ca it can't happen. So this attitude that you have, where you are walking into offices to abuse, to infringe on these people that you are finding in these offices, you are, you are infringing on their rights, you are infringing on their well-being, on their welfare. You are suppressing them. These people will react. These people will react. The onus is on President Haka in the Ichirema. The onus is on President Haka in the Ichirema. Dr. Kaunda found himself in this situation. And that is how Dr. Kaunda tried to bring in as many, as, as many people as possible in governance to balance Zambia, one Zambia, one nation. That was leadership. That was leadership. He managed to bring in these people, that, those, that, and finally, he managed. Look at, look at if you look at Kaunda's uh, uh, cabinet, you understand. And just the whole governance. Look at uh, who was at, uh, at, at parliament. Look at who was at parliament. Look at who was the minister of home affairs. Look, check. Go and study that. You will learn something. And there was respect for each other. There was respect for each other. No tribe was superior than the other. We didn't have hate speech. No, this is hate speech. Hey, whatever, whatever. Uh, getting people, getting people of other regions, you know, reporting them. Why is it that it's only people from one region, particularly mostly Tongas, who are in court? Most of the people are hate speech, hate speech is against the Tongas. Why? Why has it all of a sudden become a Tonga? Or this region, Tonga has become a sacred, a sacred tribe that you shouldn't touch. Why? Why is it that, you know, Tonga now is becoming like the official government language such that when you go in some of these offices, you, 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 I mean, you even feel uncomfortable. And those who are not Tongas are feeling uncomfortable. But how many are you Tongas in those offices? How many are you? This is a risk. This is not, I'm not blaming you, the people that are being appointed. I'm, I'm talking about Mahaka in the Ichirem. I'm talking about Mahaka in the Ichirem. To say Mahaka in the Ichirem, can you be sensitive to these issues? I'm not being tribal. I'll be the last one to be tribal, no ways. I'll be the last one to be tribal because I'm telling you, I was even telling somebody, you know, a, about an hour ago on phone. Me, my confidence, my confidence, my reliable supporters, reliable supporters, I want to tell you, my reliable supporters, people, even now, if I run into problems, I've got one person that I'll call. One person that I will call, and this man is Tonga. This man is Tonga. So it's not about the tribe, the Tongas, no. But Haka in the Hichirema, the way he's behaving, is exposing Tongas. 
to this hatred. Is exposing Tongas to, the, to this hatred. And I'm also telling some of you Tongas, or some of you coming from, from, from the Zambezi region, to tone down, to be sensitive, to be careful. Don't adopt the arrogance of Haka in the Ichilema. Don't. Just because you talk to Haka in the Ichilema in your language, it doesn't make you any superior to those people that you are working with. It doesn't make you any superior to people from other regions. It doesn't. So be very careful in the way you conduct yourself. Because the more you do these things, you are exposing yourself. You are making yourself to be hated by other people. And what other people may be doing or what other people may do you can't just bank on anybody's social state a uh, psychological status you can't you don't know you don't know you are busy more festival treating people like whatever 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 afterwards wako la moto ka wambo kuya katushinga wika la kuchalala nga wika la kuisa nga wika la kuisa please me i love my country and i love everybody that's why i'm saying this that's why I'm saying this. And I want to protect the unit that we have. I want to protect the unit that we have. So be very careful. What you are doing is bad. You are exposing some of these people. I would have given you more details, but they would be too graphic on some of these issues. I have a story of what happened in a certain case of how people ended up making stupid decisions which have which are, which which were fatal and very bad but you know and i was like this is serious this is serious i'm going to talk about this let us let by the fact that you have been put there by the fact that you have been appointed there by the fact that you have got you are of a certain tribe Please, don't think that you can just uh, mistreat anyone. You can just do whatever you want. Even when you want to fire people. Even when you are suspecting they have done corruption. Please, be very careful. Be very careful. And don't put anyone whom you found who was there before to be PF. And treat them with suspicion. Treat them like whatever. Who police? This is happening very much. It is very much happening in the police. And Bamusamba has no control whatsoever. He has no control. He doesn't know. Leadership skills, Bamusamba, nothing. Leadership skills, nothing. Because if there was leadership skills, you would have spoken to that Muyambango. That Muyambango would not be doing what they are doing to that man. Uh, Achan. What is his name? Eh? This man from the copper belt. There is no way you would be doing that. Bamsam, but there is no way that Muyambango would be doing that. And Muyambango is a, is a big problem, that man. Muyambango is a big problem. A big, big problem, Muyambango. You are fighting with so many police officers, I can tell you that. Muyambango have got a bundle. A bundle of problems, a bundle of accusations on you. You are fighting so many people. So many people, Muyambang. What is wrong with you, Mdalai? Why can't you just work with everybody else nicely? Why can't you just work with everybody nicely? Why? Why do you want to be fighting with people? Why do you want to be fighting with people? You are fighting with everyone, Muyambango. And Bamsamba, Baba Bamsamba, you know, Bamsamba, Baba Kwati, you know, is like, you know, like that father who is at home, but he is in his own world. He's in his own world. He doesn't even know what the children are doing, what the wife is doing. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. But I understand Bamsamba because Bamsamba, he never really qualified to be in that position as IG. So then it's just, it's just good enough 
to be in that seat as Inspector General of Police because Haka Inde Ichirima appointed him. These are the people that I'm talking about. These are the people that I'm talking about. And then we have Muyambango who wants to be an IG. You know, he's not the IG, but he he's fighting. He wants to be recognized an I, as an IG. And he's busy pushing, you know, officers left, right, and center. Senior, senior police officers, senior police officers, more educated than him, more experienced than him, more accolades than him. But because I don't know, I mean, sometimes you think that when you have got a small body, you know, you, you have got like a deficiency. But Myambango is a big man, whatever, but his head is so, is so, is so, so what is the word? Is so complacent. Eh? Is it complacent? No, no, there is a word, there is a word. There is a word that, they, uh, that you use. He is so insecure, that man. So insecure. So insecure, and he's fighting everyone. Ni muka pokola mudia. Ni muka pokola mudia. Bamiambang. People don't just bring issues to me for nothing. And I don't mention people's names. If I have not checked what I'm talking about. What you are doing, Bamiambang, is very wrong. It's very wrong to your fellow police officers. It's very wrong to individuals like he, he, oh, Malembeka. It's very wrong what you're doing to that man. Just because you're in police doesn't mean that you, you can treat people like that. It is very bad what you're doing. But if you had a professional IG, he would sit that, 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 that man down and make him do the right thing. But Mamusamba, who does he <laughs> talk to? Who does he command? He's a politician. Inshtoya Mamusamba is just to make political statements. That's all. He's just to make political statements. Not leading the police as it were. No. All because he's an appointed person and he's there and uh, President Dakarinda Ishrim has put him there and he's fighting everyone. Allah, you are making so many people feel very aggrieved. A lot of people are very aggrieved in different government positions. They are very aggrieved. And this is making Haka Inde Ichinema to be hated. A number of people in government, they can't wait for Haka Inde Ichinema to go. They can't wait for Haka Inde Ichinema to go. I'm telling you, they can't wait for Haka Inde Ichinema. They want him gone. So even these arrests that you are doing here and there, I can, I can assure you that there are very few people, maybe only 5%. If there are people that are really, really following Haka in the Ichirima and they are loving Haka in the Ichirima, they are only about 5%. I can dare you that let's have an election. Next the election that will come. I can dare you, you see the votes that will come out of those uh, in, in, in those uh, uh, where there are civil servants, you will see. Haka Inde Ichirema has turned out to be the most hated. I have never heard so many civil servants complaining about a president. This is too much. Haka Inde Ichirema, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and thank God Zambians are peaceful people. Zambians are loyal people. That is why you are even there. Otherwise, Tawami teme nwa wantu. Tawami teme nwa waka inde ichi. Ma ifin demi ewa, I'm not, shani, shani, a demi ewa, I'm telling you something that you should listen to. Because it's not good. It's not good for a president to be hated so much, even those people that is appointing to be hated so much. That is what has happened. The president is not liked. The people that is appointing, they are also stupid. They are going around, boasting themselves, being pompous, and the people have just become so aggrieved, so angry with these people, and they are keeping it in their hearts. They are smiling. 
They are not telling you, but they, my mess, my inbox is full of these messages. People complaining about how bad Haka in the Ichirema is, about how stupid the people that he has appointed. Avena Tabukawana. Narambi Mwaralunda Pu, you put them there. Namuvesh Vamueven. Naranda Fu Tabukawana, because Tabukawana is a politician. So that's why I, I mentioned Tabukawana is a politician. Anyway, but as all these things are happening, as all these things are happening, there is another area of, of, of a source of hatred, a source of, you know, bad, katwish, katwish wedi, you know, hunger that is coming from the Zambian people. This is the way you are treating so many people, like the issue of JJ. This issue of JJ, a lot of people are not happy. I have been receiving so many messages again on JJ. So many messages, so many phone calls. People are worried. People, he, he, are you sure JJ is okay? Are you sure JJ is okay? And actually, you should thank me. I'm not malicious. I'm not diabolical. You should thank me because... I am the only one that has calmed the people down. I'm the only one that has calmed the people down. If I had wanted, I would have taken a narrative to say, government has abducted JJ, find JJ. You would have danced. You would have danced because people that would have been on you demanding, can we see JJ, can we see JJ? And JJ, you are not going to see him. And he was not going to come out to speak to say, no, I'm here. He was not going to do it. I was going to run that narrative and you are going to be in problems. Now, because I'm a truthful person, I'm a person that looks for peace. I've told you, JJ is gone. I've told the people and people have calmed down. But they would have yoshed you over JJ. But it's not just about JJ. It is about many other people that you are treating badly. A lot of people are not happy the way you are treating a lot of people. Those people that are trooping back and forth to Major Street, to High Court, they have got relatives. They have got people that follow them. And, they are, and other people are reading in the news. And a lot of people are not happy with these arrests. You may think that it is okay for you every day. Today this one is arrested. Today this one is called to the police. Hey, Fred Membekuno. Hey, Emmanuel Mwambakuno. Hey, Shan, Shan, Shan. Hey, Edgar Lungu. I'm telling you, people are not happy with those arrests. People are not happy with the way you treated JJ. People, it's not only me celebrating. People are celebrating to realize that JJ is out of the hands of the police. And I, I continue to ask you to say, keep praying for him because his health is not very okay. So keep let's keep praying for him. And you know, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Eh? When you go, when you leave your country, before you come to settle down, it takes a lot. I mean, myself, I had, I had, I think, one of the best supports. Me had one of the best supports, at least when I left Zambia. At least I had the, one of the best supports. Not support from the people from whoever, from Edgar Lungu. Uh -uh. Outside. Outside. I was freely, freely, freely. Oh, let me not go into the diplomacy. Let me switch on the, 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 the aircon. Let me not mention countries, but I had options. I had options of countries where I would have gone. I had options of countries where I would have gone. It was public. For me, it was public. So people knew. People knew how to get me. I've always been on phone. I've always been on phone. People were able to, 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 to contact me. I was able to talk to different uh, people, different countries. But for JJ, it's different. JJ, you will not see JJ like me. No, you will not see him. He will not be able to do that. At least for some time. 
you know, he, he, there is a lot that has to happen and whatever, whatever. So I ask you to pray for him. I ask you to pray for him. But mostly people, look, even the, the numbers that I have now, I don't have these numbers because they want to hear Chilifa Tayari. I have these numbers now because people want to hear about JJ. People want to hear about JJ. But are you telling me all these people that want to hear about JJ, do they know JJ? Are they his relatives? No, they are not. I even had one woman from Canada, from Canada, just a few minutes ago I was texting with this woman, and she's saying, please, please assure me that he's okay. She's in Canada. This woman doesn't know JJ. She has got nothing to do with JJ. That is the Zambian spirit. But as you are doing these bad things to people, you are risking yourself. You are risking, I don't know how to put it better, you are risking your presidency and the country. These people that are so, so upset, you are risking yourself. You are risking the country. And some of the things that I hear from people, what people tell me, Papa Foni, Gavalilanda, what they say, and it's something that I cannot repeat here. But other people, they feel like, I mean, I would rather die than to live under this leadership. That's what some of the people are saying. I would rather die than to live under Haka in the Ichinema. That's what some people are saying. Haka in the Ichinema. People have reached that extent of getting so upset that they would rather die than live in your government. That is not very good. That is not very good. This is real work in the HDMI. It's real. People are so upset. This continues the way you are maltreating, the way you are treating Ed Galungu, for example. The way you are treating Ed Galungu. And you know, maybe you would have even done better to go for Ed Galungu himself than to go for the wife. Trust me, that issue looks very simple. It looks very simple. But I can assure you, a lot of people are touched. But Esther Lungu, for example, by Esther Lungu, who has anything against by Esther Lungu? Who has anything? You were in opposition for a long time. You were fighting with Edgar Lungu. Tell me, did you have anything against Esther Lungu? Did Esther Lungu do anything that you can say she did this and she deserved to suffer? Who has anything? Whenever Esther Lungu spoke, she spoke the word of God. She spoke love. I'm your mother. You can all suffer from me. Eh? I'm appealing to you. Those, that is what we know of Esther Lungu. Why should Esther Lungu today be dragged left and left, right and center, Muma Koti, Muma Polisi. Do you think Bahaka in the The Zambian people are happy with that. Bahaka in the really, if you think that, I mean, if you imagined, if people were to freely speak on the issue of Esther Lungu, for example, do you really think they would have kind words? Do you really think they would praise you for what you are doing to Esther Lungu? I'm not even going to say, do you want people to do the same thing to me? No, 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 no. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. But just for Esther Lungu, if you sit, you sit in your chair, Mwaikala, as a human being, and you think of Esther Lungu, what has she done to you? What has she done to you? Or what has she done to the country, to, to the country or to anybody else? What has she done? Yesterday, Jack Mwimbu, he was busy recounting uh, the, the crimes of, of JJ. Hey, JJ did this, hey, JJ did this, hey, JJ did this. Meanwhile, you are saying, no, at one point, JJ was walking in the whatever. Hey, he was taken to police. Hey, but they gave him a fake charge. Okay. But at least he went to police. 
Even this, that, that, that journalist that you are talking about, he got money. At least there was something. So it means there was, it was not total lawlessness. Because what is happening now, this is total lawlessness. Where we don't have cadres being accounted for, accounting for anything. We don't have cadres being arrested now. Those cadres that threatened violence, those cadres that have been perpetrating violence, nobody's touching them. But, okay, fine, we can leave all these people, the JJ and whatever, whatever. But by Istanbul, what has she done? Even this Dari Solungu that a lot of you like to talk about, hey, Dari so, hey, Dari so, hey, Christmas, birthday. But Lungu never gave his child vehicles as birthday gifts, no? It's not true. It was an investment in a company that was a, a family business. It was a family business. And Dari so, as the son of, the, of, of Ed Galungu, is the one that was given the in charge to run that company. And those vehicles were bought for a, for a company. So now you put it like, no, Dari so was just being given, was a spoiled child. Oh, we should have a gift every Saturday. Oh, we have a girl, mm, okay. Oh, after the, no, it wasn't like that. It was an investment in a business. And many of you don't even know Dari, so you don't even know Dari, because he's not a, he's not that boy, that spoiled boy, that you would see at you know a son of the president, son of the president, son of the, you never a lot of you didn't even know Dari, so didn't even see Dari. Even as I'm talking, you don't even know Dari, so some of you, you never heard Dari. So tell Dari, so you call a shoot them footy, hey Dari, you you no, you never heard him. He's a disciplined young man, disciplined young man with a family, very disciplined. Who the father gave the responsibility to run the companies. So what has this guy done? You are arresting together with a wife. What has he done? To these things, Vahaka in the Ishrev, if you think about it, do you really think these, a lot of Zambian people are happy with the way you are treating this Dariso? This innocent young man, do you really think people are happy? That's why I'm telling you that you would have rather gone for Ed Galung himself than for the family. But you know what? You are a coward. 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 Because if you are not a coward, you would have gone for Ed Galung himself. You would have gone for Edgar Lungu himself and have it with him. Now, you go to the wife. You go to the children. There are many other people that you are, that you are, that you are, you, 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 you are messing around with. There are many. I was talking about this Malange case. Because Gilbert Piri, the only thing that he does Mukot, is just to make noise. He just makes noise. He's, he's not a good lawyer. I don't even know why he has gone there. He has just gone in that case. Simply, he thinks that he's going to intimidate the magistrate. That's all. You, but you have not joined the case of Malangi to bring evidence or to bring credibility to that trial. You have just gone there to intimidate the magistrate. That's all. But unfortunately, that case is spoiled. He is very spoiled. It's Ama case of Malangi, Mualilu Sa. Mualilu Sa. The evidence is so bad. So so bad. I'm a witnesses, witnesses, Mwaleta witnesses, and is 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 torn into pieces. Imola give but Piri no more like finish. But you are there just to you know intimidate the magistrate. That's why you are there. Nothing else. Just to intimidate the magistrate. But look, Joe Malanja don't have a problem. You can fight with him. He's a politician. But this man, Fredia. That man is not a politician. That man is a technician, is, is a technocrat. And that man was doing his job. His job is to pay. And you are every day you are dragging him. Every day you are dragging him. It is this kind of people that you are you are harassing. This kind of people that you are that you are persecuting. That are making people hate you more. Because whilst you're wasting time following these people, some of them are businessmen. Like William Dalla, William Clint, 
Eh? I mean, the man is sick and whatever, whatever, but you treat him like a criminal. You treat him like a criminal. Eh? But you are treating him like a criminal. Maybe in a thing, you could what you like in thing, you know, is a big name. But some of these people are quiet. Look at this man at night. I mean, honestly, I mean, these are people that have grown in business. But just because that kind of HDMI is ruling, they have turned into criminals. They have turned into criminals. Eh? Maybe you can even touch some of these other guys. There are some of these other business guys that you can say, these ones you can even touch. But some of these people, these are people that have done business quietly. And you are making them to be, to be, to be known by Zambians, you know, like they are criminals just because you are a president. These things bring bad luck. These things bring bad luck. And this is why some of these things will not work. That's why Bahaka Inde Ichilema, you are faring so badly as a president. Because bad luck is with you. Bad luck with, is with you. Whatever credit you want to take, it just goes haywire. You talk about dead swap, fiari pena. You talk about finishi, fiari pena. Finishi, finishi. Everything is just bad. Because you are a bad person. You are not a good leader. And therefore, bad luck is following you. And I don't know what next. That's why some of us, even when you, 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 you arrest us, you put us, you find that we have come out. Even JJ, when you think you have him there, JJ is out. You are not winning. You are not winning at all. In all these things, even you are not winning. Because of your bad leadership. And you are attracting bad luck. And you just never know. You just never know how some of these people might react. You just never know. It, 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 it pays to be a good leader. It pays to be nice with people. It pays to be compassionate with people. It pays. There is nothing good about being ruthless with people. There is nothing good. Even if people are wrong, you are better off being nice. You are better off being kind. You are better off being compassionate. That is what, there is, that is what our Christianity tells us, especially when you are a church holder. Not a church holder. Or kwa quoting our verses, ya ulo, ah, 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 kumutwe. Eh? Eh? Hunger, seven years, eh? no, eh, eight years, no, seven years. I mean, uh, it is not just by name. Problem back in the age, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. A problem. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. But really, you can do better. If you can show compassion, people will love you. People will love you. Genuine compassion. If you have a heart of forgiveness, people will like you for that. More people will be drawn to you seeing that you are compassionate, seeing that you are forgiving, seeing that you are gracious, seeing that you are tolerant. More people will be drawn to you. Not the image that you are creating, the devilish image. You are like impersonating devil in Zambia. Where some of us in that one in Lota, the nightmare, Kutulum, cricket, cricket, in an atrum, Gangalan, Lota, Ya, and another vaca in the chill. Ya, a phone Santa Muka. The Santa Mukam Dara and another vaca in the chill. Eh? But I mean, it shouldn't be like that. And I know many Zambians, and many Zambians do that. I saw that guy who was protesting, who was protesting, na 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 chip chip chip. She, she placard. Pariaka in the HLM. And you saw people there hammering there. Iwe, hey, Iwe, Iwe. You should look for that, for that video. You see it. How people are upset with you. They were busy hammering on your, on your picture there. So, be very careful, Aka in the HLM. I say these things out of love for my country, 
And out of love for all the people, even yourself, Baka and the me, I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I just don't like your leadership. And I wish you could do better. I wish you could do better. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.